moving on to next question question 7 assume that the hour the hour and minute hands of a clock move without jerking the clock shows a time between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock the two hands of the clock are one above the other after how many minutes nearest integer uh, will the two hands be again lying one above the other so the information given is if this is the clock sorry so, clock and this will be nine o'clock and this will be eight o'clock sometime like this the how it is given the how hand and mid hand overlaps right so, so it is asking at what time how many uh, minutes will it take for the hour hand and the minute hand to overlap again after how many minutes will that happen so that is the question so say it happens after some when it is here so it will be like the minute hand will be like this and our hand will be over and above it like this say if it happens after how many minutes so say x minutes it happens after x minutes uh, this x is what they are asking so if you know the relative how to use the relative speed concept in such question you can arrive at the answer very fast so the relative speed at which the minute hands move uh, relative speed uh, come um, when when the relative speed compared to uh, the our hand is 11 by 2 uh, degrees per minute so if you use the relative speed concept uh, we can say it is 11, 11 when it travels 11 by 2 uh, at a relative speed it has to cover after x minutes it will cover 360 degree for this to overlap again so if you find x like this we will get 360 into 2 by 11 uh, which is like uh, mm, by 11 6 uh, 66 60 so 55 65 point um, be again so oh right let me just uh, 60 55 55 5 something 65.4 so we will get answer as C. Uh, 65 minutes um, is the time it takes for this to overlap again. So uh, we can quickly find the uh, answer if we know this concept. So people who are familiar with using relative speed uh, in the clock question can speak, skip the next question. Uh, for, other, for others, I will explain, I will take some time to explain what the concept of relative speed is and how to use relative speed uh, in clock questions i will explain these two uh, taking some time so relative first i will explain what is relative speed so relative speed is used when two people or two objects move either like this say this person moves at a v1 speed and this person moves at a v2 speed in towards each other or another case is when they move in the same direction in the same direction so these two are the two cases where we apply the concept of relative speed in questions so I will show an example uh, so in this case uh, in relative speed what we do is uh, we will consider one person stationary and we will say this person is moving at a relative speed uh, to him 
so the relative speed at which this person moves towards him is v1 plus v2 if we consider this person as stationary then this person uh, in the perspective of this person this person moves towards him at a relative speed of v1 plus v2 since we consider this stationary so since he was moving towards him right so when we keep him stationary he is moving at a very faster pace than v2 which is v1 plus v2 at a speed speed v1 plus v2 uh, so uh, this is how relative speed works we will we will keep one person as stationary and we will see what is the relative speed of the other person Uh, from the perspective of him at what speed at relative speed he, the other person is moving um so here the relative speed is calculated in a different way since they are moving in the same direction when this person is say when this person is kept stationary uh, this person uh, in the perspective of this person this person is moving towards the this person at a speed uh v1 minus v2 i will explain this concept with an example that will make things more clear um both cases i will explain so say from point a uh and point b there is 100 kilometers and a car is moving at a speed 30 km per hour in this direction a car from a is moving towards b in 30 km per hour and car from b is moving towards a at say 20 km per hour so if the question asks what is the time at which both this car meet then we can use the relative speed concept so instead of assuming both cars are moving towards each other um if we uh, without using say if we are not using relative speed how um, how can we solve this question say they meet at some point like here uh, at t seconds right so we uh, we will uh, use the concept a traveled 30 km uh, so t hours if it takes t hours say 30 into t hours a traveled and b traveled 20 into t hours okay so if we add these two we will get 100 100 kilometers right 30 into t uh, plus 20 into t and we will solve for t and we will find t that is the usual method we do instead if we use the relative speed concept we can say a is kept stationary a is kept stationary so a is not changing its position and b is traveling with a relative speed towards a right so like this v1 plus v2 we know that we will add both the speeds so b is traveling at a speed 50 km per hour towards a and at if they want to meet how much distance should b cover at a with a relative with that relative speed b should cover 100 kilometers right since a is stationary a, a is not changing we assume that a is not changing in that case b is moving towards a and at a relative speed and b has to cover 100 kilometers so we can write a say at looking at the speed 30 plus 20 50 km into t is time is equal to 100 so we get t equal to 2 hours so we'll get t as 2 hours it will take b to uh, meet a at 2 hours so if you see here also we'll get 15 into t equal to 100 and t equal to same 2 same concept but we used the relative speed that a is not changing so we'll see this case where say a and b um say a is from a a car moves in this direction for 30 at 30 km per hour and b from b a car is going at 10 km per hour say and there is a distance 100 km between them and if the question ask at what time 
they catch up a catch up with b since a is moving at a faster speed 30 km per hour uh, a will eventually catch up with b at some point right so it happens at here so if if the if we are asked how, at what time a catches up with b we can use the concept of relative speed we can assume instead b as a moving car we can assume b is stationary b is not moving then a is moving towards b with the relative speed and at the time when they meet a should cover since b is not moving 100 km so we can write away right 30 minus 10 is 20 into t equal to 100 km so we will get 30 uh, t is equal to uh 5 5 hours so it when b is kept stationary and a is moving at a relative speed towards b and if it takes 5 hours that means effectively uh in the normal scenario a will reach this point with 5 hours and b will reach this point by taking 5 hours or we'll say uh, if you since both are traveling b is traveling at 10 km for 5 hours that means 50 kilometers it travels so this distance is 50 kilometers so a and b reaches here at uh, or a travels 150 kilometers and b travels 50 kilometers anyway both reach this point at 5 hours so but when we are using relative speed uh, we assume b is stationary and a meets b when a travels with relative speed and covers this 100 kilometers say same concept so we used relative speed concept to solve such questions if we use we will get the answers very fast this is the concept of relative speed now we will see how we can use this relative speed concept in the clock questions so clock is just like two people moving instead of two people or two car here we have one minute hand and an hour hand so minute hand is there and an hour hand is there both are moving in this direction the clockwise direction so what is the relative speed of minute hand compared to um, the hour hand so we'll calculate first their individual speed the individual speed uh, for minute hand is minute hands travel say covers 360 degree in 60 minutes so 360 degree it, it travels in 60 minutes or we we'll, we can see in 1 minute it travels 360 by 60 or 6 degrees 6 degrees per minute it travels this is the speed of the minute hand similarly our hand travels the same 360 degree in 12 hours so one it is 12 right 12 1 2 3 similarly it, tra- it it has to uh, it takes 12 hours to com- take a 360 degree so 360 degree in 12 hours which is 12 into uh, 60 minutes so f- in 1 minute travels 360 into 12 into 60 or 6152 degrees per minute this is the speed of our hand this is the speed of minute hand this is the speed of our hand they are both traveling in the same direction so what is the relative speed relative speed is now uh, earlier we saw when they are moving in the same direction relative speed is v1 minus v2 or here it is 6 degree 6 degree per minute minus 1 by 2 degree per minute so 12 minus 1 11 by 2 degrees per minute so this is the relative speed of this minute hand compared to the hour hand so we got the relative speed as 7 by 2 degrees per minute now we will see how we use this relate how we use this relative speed in our question so our question is this so at this be 
and this b8 and we had our minute hand like this and our outer hand like this now i'm going to use the concept of relative speed i assume the outer hand is stationary our hand is not moving from this position so minute hand moves and to overlap it has to travel how much degree 360 degree if our hand is not moving minute hand should tra travel 360 degree for this to overlap so we know the relative speed of our minute hand as 11 by 2 degrees per minute so we need to find this time to time the our hand takes when it travels with the relative speed to take 360 degree so 11 by 2 degrees per minute into say t at if it takes t time to travel 360 degree this is the time that is needed so this t is 360 into 2 by 11 or 720 by 11 which we got as 65.5 something so 65 this is how we use the concept of relative speed in clock question to answer so 65 is the answer this is the relative speed concept in the clock question i hope you understood what relative speed is and how we can use that concept to solve questions if you have any doubt please comment on it i'll do i'll try to do a better explanation video um, anyway this is the solution to question 7 answer is c 65